Welcome to the Executive Mom Show. This show is for working moms to give you a pep in your step for your busy work week ahead. In each episode, we will cover a career topic or a question, and then we will highlight one amazing thing that every working mom needs. Today's topic is how to do it all. How do you do it all? I love that question. It's such a compliment. Every time I get it, I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, let me tell you the ways. Someone thinks I'm doing something. It's really a compliment, but I'm not. And neither should you. We'll get there. Do you notice that men don't get asked this question? No one has ever asked my husband, how do you do it all? And he does a lot. He does a lot, let me tell you. He is a true partner for me. Men don't expect other men and women don't expect men to do it all. That would be absurd. So why are we asking each other and expecting each other to do it all? Uh-uh, that's not smart. Let's be smart, ladies. So here is the tip. Outsource everything that doesn't bring you joy. Do the things that bring you joy, outsource whatever you can that doesn't bring you joy. You can sometimes outsource your children. That's fine. Probably not permanently. <laughs> they should bring, hopefully they bring some joy. Mine do bring me some joy, but I do outsource them quite frequently because I don't want to do their tutoring homework. Mm -mm. I don't want to do that. No. I, uh, I don't always want to teach them how to read. So we have teachers who do that. And if you're a teacher, by the way, you are the true hero. Okay, we've missed you during COVID. <laughs> we've missed you greatly and now things are opening up again. Thank God teachers are the real heroes. But we'll get back to this. So focus on outsourcing whatever doesn't bring you joy. I'm gonna give you some options. These are my options that have worked for me. So number one is house cleaning. I'm not good at house cleaning. I don't enjoy house cleaning. One time I tried to mop, one time I tried to mop my house. I spent so much time strategizing, like, oh, maybe I should start by the door and then clean up this way, but then like, what about the other door? And oh my gosh, people are coming in. It was a complete disaster. It was such a waste of time. There are professionals who have this down and they are better than you at cleaning your house and they are well worth the money. I have a house cleaner who comes once a week She's got her lovely team of people. I know them well. They do such an amazing job. And a clean house brings me joy. So I want a clean house. And that's how I get it for myself. Another option. Oh, and one thing I'll say. Some people enjoy cleaning. Um, a lot of the French women, it's their cardio. And they enjoy it. So if you enjoy it, don't give that up. You keep what you enjoy. But we're going to outsource what we don't. Another option to outsource is the market. I personally love going to the grocery store. I don't have time. I really don't. It's an hour minimum. And then I notice, I actually save money by not going. I use um, Instacart often, or I'll send, sometimes my husband wants to go, he's great. Um, you know, he usually gets about 80% of what's on the list, but I can live with that. Instacart can get 100% next time. So, so we're okay with that. Um, it's just such a, a long process to go to the market shop for the things you end up putting stuff in your cart that you don't need that's why when you buy instacart they just do what you said there's no in the moment purchase of that ice cream that you don't need even if it is halo you don't need it sometimes you need it sometimes you can have it so anyway um market save yourself time on that one target target is dangerous i should not go to target i like to go to target but I don't do that. I send someone else to Target or I usually ship it to my house because I will spend a couple hundred dollars of stuff that I did not need each time I go to Target. That place is bad for me. Um, another great one is dry cleaning. Don't waste your time going to the dry cleaners and all these other things. My dry cleaner is amazing. I fill up this bag, right? This lovely bag, I fill it up I put it on my front porch every Tuesday and then they pick it up on Tuesday and then they bring it back on Thursday and I have lovely dry cleaning and I didn't do anything but put it out 
on my porch. That is amazing. Um, okay, related is laundry. Laundry personally brings me a lot of joy and I have a system that is very optimized for the laundry and it's just, I make it so enjoyable. So that is a task that I keep. However, when my kids were very young, the laundry was out of control because we were getting everything dirty about an, every hour. Um, I hired someone, I hired a college student who was lovely. She would come to my house, she would do dis dishes and laundry. She was like a mom's helper. For a while I had a full-time nanny who was just wonderful and she did all the laundry. Uh, I missed doing the laundry, but at the time I knew I didn't have the time. And now that my kids are a little older, I have taken back the laundry and I love it. I, I super enjoy it. So that is one that I keep. However, that if you don't enjoy that, outsource it. Or teach your kids to do it. When my daughter, my daughter is interested because I think she sees how happy it makes me. She's five. But, you know, soon maybe I'll share the laundry task with my daughter or my son. He could do, he could use, you know, some competency in laundry. My son will know how to do his own laundry. Uh, another one is landscaping and gardening. There are amazing people out there who know what they're doing and they can do an amazing job on your garden. I am looking at a beautiful avocado tree. I don't know how to take care of a, you know, an avocado tree, but they do and they do a great job. I have two of them. Did you know you need two of them? You need the boy and the girl to make the avocados? I didn't know that. But my gardeners knew that and now I have wonderful avocados they are the size of my head and they are organic and I have so many I give them to my neighbors but I save money on avocados my kids have an avocado a day because of my beautiful tree I would not have that if I did not have my gardeners they are worth the money go for it so uh, another tip is hire a nanny we, we covered this one hire a nanny hire a babysitter it's it's really worth the money it's expensive however focus on making money not saving money okay saving money is like a takeaway right it's like this weird it's not fun it's negative it's like oh we can't spend focus your time and energy on making money right so pay the nanny the salary that she deserves or pay the babysitter what they deserve and you focus on what's going to bring you joy and make more money for you what's going to make you better at your job or what's going to bring you joy so that you're going to be a better mom for your kids right a happy mom is a really good mom so focus on just making money not saving um have a no day you I don't know if everyone needs this. Every mom might need this. I am highly introverted and I need a day. I need one day where I don't do makeup. I don't take off my pajamas. However, I do shower, but then I put on clean pajamas. So I like to be clean. That brings me joy. I, the whole day is for me. I get to do whatever I want. I had that day yesterday. It's Sunday for me. So yesterday was my no day and it is fantastic it brings me energy I get pumped and excited for the Monday I have a very busy work week ahead so I need that day now you may not need that day and I, my husband knows there are no plans on Sunday if there's a birthday party on Sunday I'm not going sorry it's my no day where I say no to everything except for what I want to do don't schedule a party on Sunday if you want me to come unless it's Easter I will go to Easter Easter Sunday mm -hmm. and if Christmas is on a Sunday I will do Christmas but other than that it's a no the other thing to consider is lower your standards mm -hmm. lower those standards especially if you have a child under one actually under two it really gets better when they're five, but I don't want to scare everybody. <laughs> it got better for me. Um, it got better for me at about year five. But you're in survival mode when you have little kids. I wish someone told me that. Maybe your kids are better than mine. I love my kids. 
they were hard and actually they were good they all slept they slept because i did a crazy sleeping schedule which i'm happy to talk about it some other time you know you're in survival don't lose your job don't lose your child you may lose your mind but it will come back if you have a second baby you're in double survival mode and if you have a third baby i don't i don't understand i i'm i might want to have a mom on here who has three kids because I just can't do it. But again, her kids just might be better than mine. That's possible. So in that time, this survival mode time, focus on just enjoying what you can. It does go by. Um, it doesn't go by fast. Everyone's like, oh, the time flies by. No, the days are very long. The years are fast, but the days are very long. And the nights are even worse if you're with your little baby who, you know, you're nursing through the night or they're not sleeping. So again, sleeping schedule was my focus number one and it did work did work for me but it was survival time that was um, a harder time for me but I came through it and it is so much more fun now with older kids my son is seven my daughter is five and it is getting more and more fun I can tell I'll get more and more joy as they get older and I think some moms are just like that some moms like the little babies and some moms enjoy the older babies. So I'm an older baby mom, good for me. All right, so the highlight, what I'm gonna highlight today that every working mom needs is a few apps. Um, these are free to download, so I would recommend you get them. If you are big on going to Starbucks, as my family is, get the Starbucks app. You, the Starbucks app. You save money, you save time, they save your order, you can just put it in there and then it's ready and you go in, it just saves a lot of time, so I would do that. Um, Instacart's probably my favorite, I use that one every week. It's very easy to order and pick up. They do a nice job of picking the ripe fruits and vegetables. I was always worried like, oh, they're not gonna pick the right raspberries, but they do, it's great. And you know what, whatever, just my daughter eats them, she doesn't care, I just sprinkle a little sugar sometimes if they're looking a little off and she just thinks they're great. Um, DoorDash is also a good one, um, that is expensive, I think, for when you're ordering out. However, it might just save you a lot of time and you can focus on making more money than driving around getting food for your family. And the last one is Care.com, that's where I found um, my wonderful nanny and other mom's helpers and babysitters. It's a great app. Uh, you do have to pay for that one, but it's actually a website, not really an app. Um, but I found high quality. You don't need to pay expensive nanny agencies. Like the nannies are working with the agency and they're working on care.com. So you might as well just find them yourself. Uh, what do you think? What did I forget? Um, please leave your thoughts, uh, or comments below and have a lovely day.